Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Analytic Mind podcast. Today I'm here with Jarrett Moore. Now Jarrett has uh, been uh, connected to Enterprise DNA and myself for, for quite some time and I thought it'd be great to get him on uh, as one of our earlier um, episodes on, on the podcast just to talk about a lot of the experience that he's had with Power BI you know, dealing with an internal implementation of Power BI, but also with external stakeholders. Um, and so, you know, this isn't, uh, I think the discussion today here is going to be really valuable for, you know, Power BI users, but also just any analytics uh, for, uh, u- analytics uh, initiatives that uh, could be happening within organizations, just sort of seeing how it's done and how to effectively execute um, on, um, on sort of development tasks or, uh, deployment tasks um, around around your analytics initiatives. So, Jared, why don't you just do a bit of an intro? Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. What um, you know, what 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 your sort of experiences um, have been around uh, your Power BI and and data related work, and uh, then we'll just take it from there. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Sam, for having me today. Um, I guess uh, I'm born and raised in uh, Col- just outside of Columbus, Ohio and was raised there and was about a month after 9-11 packed up and moved to Florida and I've been in Florida ever since. Um, As far as Power BI goes, um, I was a member of a a power users group for the software that we use for the company that I work for. I work for a restoration company. You have any kind of water, fire, mold damage to your house, um, we're the folks that come in and help clean that up for you. Um, but we're also the contractor that helps put the house back together for you. So that's the kind of work um, that we do. And I was on a conference call and a, on a power users group for that software. Um, we help give feedback to the, the software company to help improve it. And it was January of 16 or 17. I want to say 2017 that uh, one of the gentlemen on the call introduced us to this product called Power BI. And I was on the, the call with my IT manager and we looked at each other in the eye and he's like, we got to do this. So that's how, that's how my journey started. And uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's come a long way in the, the three to four years uh, that, that I've, that I've been around. Great. Great. And so it's quite a unique industry. I would, I would say for power BI develop, development, right. To actually implement power BI, you wouldn't order ordinarily, think of uh, the sort of <clears throat> infrastructure space as being totally, you know, a logical place where you do a whole lot of that, um, analytical work. Um, but it seems like you've made quite a, quite an impact with Power BI. So what, what are some of the, what are some of the things that you, you've been, some of the initiatives you've been working on with, um, with Power BI, either you know, internally, but also with, with other stakeholders? Yeah. Well, when I first started, um, my boss kept me in my current, and I was st- I stayed in my current role with the company. I did like finance, um, just anything finance related. I did job management things for the company, and uh, I kept up with that role. And he gave me two hours a day uh, to help create some of these reports uh, for Power BI with with his content, and then I just brought the content to life. And it was probably no later than a month to two months and he said, you're doing this full time. So I, I started off building reports for my organization and then it was probably two or three months in, my boss had a couple of other software users that, that, uh, that you know, they use the same software that we do in his office for a meeting and he pulled up some of the reports that I had built and, uh, one of the gentlemen in the room, you know, took out his checkbook and said, how much, how much do I need to pay to have this? And he said, well, currently we're only doing it for you know, in-house. We're not building it for others right now. But uh, that, that kind of led him to the idea that uh, maybe we uh, need to help build this for others as well. So from that point on, we created an, uh, a sister company. Um, and, and basically what, what I do for there, that's my full-time job now is I, is I build Power BI reports, not only for my organization, but I'm closing in on now around 40 users around the U.S. and Canada. Wow. 
So wow! So you so you guys act, you actually created a new business unit around Power BI development for your own organization's partners. I would I would imagine. Um, not necessarily uh, partners, but uh, other companies like ourselves that do the same work that are throughout the U.S. and Canada that use right. primarily the same software that we use because there was right. conferences that we go to and. You know, you get to know people in, in the industry, um, just like any other industry. You get to know the people that are in the industry, um, some other companies. And uh, it's uh, one of my roles at the company as well was, was creating um, reports for the CEO, the CFO, the COO, all those, mm -hmm. all those people. And what I had to do was dump the data to Excel, you know, run these crazy macros. And, you know, it took me, you know, sometimes days to do some of these reports that he wanted done. And now with the power of Power BI, I can get those done, you know, in, in, in no time. And then, you know, it's, uh, you, you don't even have to run the report each time. It's just, it's, it's always there for you. It's always up to date. It's amazing. So basically you, your, 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 your business has, has created a, a new business line around, um, around data analytics. You've created your own, Develop, development agency, <laughs> but you know, that to to run concurrently to the sort of build the, the, the building part, the building and the infrastructure part of, of the business. That's, that that is actually quite unique, and and you know, I, I actually think is is an amazing evolution of um, you know that, that probably another other a number of other businesses and other industries that are sort of ahead of the curve here. They could actually do something similar. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is a, it's a, it, it's been a, it's, it's been a, uh, it's been a, a fun ride these uh, three or four years. And uh, we've definitely um, developed, I think, a, a pretty good business model. And, uh, you know, our clients, you know, love what we do and they, they just, they, they, they can't wait to, to, to get more information than, than what they, than what they have. So I, I can't give them enough information. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, the reality is, is that you could, um, you know, so many others could copy and paste what they're doing in their own systems and utilize them, you know, um, in, 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 or monetize them in many different ways, which is, which is, um, you know, a super idea that, you know, uh, hopefully some of the listeners are, are really having a, a deeper think about, you know, once, once you're sort of hearing that it's possible. Yeah. And it's, um, some of the information that I'm, I'm providing them, you know, they've had access to this data before and, and they've, you know, it, it's not like it's earth shattering, you know, um, analytics. They've always ha had access to this type of data, but now they get it much faster and this has helped companies. And I know within my organization, you know, we had several printers in the office that I think they printed from seven in the morning until 5 p.m. Now those printers don't even run anymore. People are, are using the reports in Power BI. This is not, this is not, it's only, not only has it saved the company money, you know, from printing, but it's also saved the employees time where they don't have to run these reports and they have more time to actually focus in on, on what really matters and, and bringing money into the organization. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's so great to, um, you know, have you on and to, and, to, and to say these sort of things because this is this, this is the sort of thing that, um, you know, I talk about a lot and, and have for years, you know, just around the difference that Power BI can make. And, uh, you know, what you, you, you just mentioned one that I've never mentioned before is the saving on printing. That can be a huge, a, 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 you know, a, a, a huge gain, you know, amongst, you know, many, many others. Um, you know, when you add when you add it, add it all up, it's 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 quite amazing um, the difference that Power BI can make. Yes, definitely. So, what are, what what? Why don't we go into some specifics here around like what are some what are some unique things that you've done? Um, obviously, you've done something very unique in creating a whole new business line. But what 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 are some some unique things you've done on the sort of development side to be successful? Uh, and what you've done um, with, uh, you know, part with external partners? Uh, well, w w with Power BI, um, I, I've, you know, when I was first learning Power BI, I, I had taken, you know, 
I, I looked at a bunch of different contents and um, when I came across your content, it was, it was that, that was when I knew that, you know, this was the guy for me and the company that I wanted to be a part of to take me on this, 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 this journey uh, of learning how to do power BI. So um, I, I can't, you know, and, and continue to thank you enough for, you know, for the content that you provided, because I, I, I know how much it's, it's meant to me and, and brought me to, to where I'm at today. So, you know, without your type of content out there, um, I, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at. And uh, That's great. awesome. No, I, I appreciate it. So how, how have you, how have you used some of those ideas and, and what you've done? Has it been, um, you know, have you, have you created some unique things around, what, um, you know, the models that you've developed or, you know, how, how, how have you been able to show the value to others, um, you know, ar around the work that you've done? Has, you know, is it, is it the time saving? Is it the, just the visualization? You know, maybe, maybe just go, go a bit deeper into that. Yeah, I think some of it is the, is the time saving. Um, a lot of it is, is these people haven't had access this quick to, to data um, and within their organization, and it's it, it's mind blowing, and it's almost a little bit information overload for some of these folks at first. But uh, but uh, I definitely built some interesting uh, models um, for for each one of these companies, and a majority of them, you know, re rely on you know job management and how can they per, you know how can they improve you know the job time from start to finish. Um, not only from a company perspective, but also on the customer end as well. It is like, you know, why is it taking us to do, why is it taking us this long to complete this task? Um, and, and now they can see this information and, and visualize it a lot faster and, mm -hmm. and see also which team members are performing <laughs> at, a, uh, at, a, at, a, at a at a great level and then who needs improvement. And, and this right here, is great accountability for employees because the information is right there. And uh, the old adage, you know, the numbers don't lie. Right. Right. So a, 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 a lot of it has to do with just this um, additional data discovery that is made possible with the, you know, visualizations and, and reports that you've been able to build out uh, and really scale across many different other, you know, similar organizations. Yep. And so what, um, how, how are you, you know, just because I know there's probably a lot of consultants listening. How, how have you, what sort of model have you developed with this new um, sort of business line that you've created? Uh, is it sort of an annuity business or is it, is it a upfront um, sort of consulting development type um, fee or how, 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 how have you structured things? Uh, well, how we've structured the, the business um, for the, the clients outside our organization is we actually have a consultant that we work with in the industry that has over 40 plus years experience in the restoration industry and is probably one of the top consultants out there. And basically what we've taken is his behavior model and report model and transformed that from, you know, from the software to Power BI and data analytics. And, you know, he has been like, uh, he's been one of my mentors in, in, the, in the restoration industry, but he's also uh, the one that I get a lot of content ideas for. And then he, you know, asked me to, to bring those to life and, and make sense for the client. And he has his own business where he has numerous clients. And, and I know with uh, the current uh, situation that we're in and, worldwide here with the, with the whole COVID experience is uh, he used to fly out to, to everybody's location, you know, mm -hmm. once a quarter or so and do these on site, but now he's working from his home. And uh, this definitely with, with, with what we've built in this business model, it's, it's definitely helped him, um, you know, not only research the company before he, before he gets to talk to them on the phone, but it's, it also helps him um, provide uh, better, better solutions to his, to his clients. Mm. That's actually really unique as well. That, that, that's actually super interesting. So, and, and I think this is, this is, you could replicate something like this across any number of opportunities out there in any market. 
So you've actually partnered with a sort of subject matter expert and offered your solution in, in combination with what they are actually already doing. So they, they've almost um, enabled better distribution of your service by partnering. Yes, yeah, that's it. They, we, we've definitely partnered up and, and he does a lot of our, um, our sales for us. He brings a lot of new clients. Obviously, I think we have a majority of his, if not all of his clients that he consults with have, yeah. have, our, have our business model um, within Power BI, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, also, um, he, he's the one that helps, you know, promote this to other um, individuals that he knows as well to try to bring new clients to us as well. Yeah. And primarily we've been, we've been working with one software company that's in the industry, one of the largest. Um, but there are a couple others out there that I've just recently cracked the surface on my end on, on how to build um, successful power BI reporting um, mm -hmm. and connecting to those databases. Um, so, mm -hmm. so now I think we're, we're, we're ready to uh, take it to the next level here because um, you know, while the, the software we've been working with has a, numerous amounts of clients, but now we've opened it up to, you know, the, 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 uh, the opportunities are endless. It's just, it's uh, the main way that we've been getting business is word of mouth. And mm -hmm. certainly with what's going on right now, it, it's hard to get this in front of, you know, certain companies out there because not everybody is thriving in this market, but I know a, a majority of companies that do our work, have been just fine in this pandemic because, you know, still things happen to your house. You know, you're always going to have, you know, water, fire, mold damage to your house and uh, you need somebody to put it back together. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to, I think, highlight this as, as this, the, the model that you've discovered and that has been working well, I think is, is, is a, a totally viable model in many different ways because there's a lot of, I think, consultants out there or just connectors in specific markets or industries that maybe aren't as technically savvy as some sort of younger folks or, or those who are more aware of what the possibilities are with Power BI. And I think that you know, creating those partnerships to um, increase your distribution a lot quicker is a really smart idea. It's a real win-win for both sides. And so I think that um, in itself is, is, is you know, a, a really valuable idea for those um for those tuning in because um you know i can see hundreds maybe even thousands of opportunities that you know you could implement with power bi as the you know the implementation tool one question i have um following that is how are you actually ultimately like ultimately how are you implementing your service within a client are you doing it by basically just handing over the model that you develop and they use it within their online service? Or are you doing some sort of like Power BI embedded type, um, you know, where you've actually built an embedded solution? Um, you know, how are you doing it? Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, one of the, before I get into that, one of the, the reasons why I think we've been success, successful with what, with what we have is I'm not your traditional computer programmer. You know, I haven't always, you know, my route to, to, to where I'm at today has, it's been a, a twisty, <laughs> a twisty uh, road with lots of turns and, and, and uh, different things to get where I'm at today within Power BI. So um, I'm not just some computer programmer that, um, that doesn't know the business. So, so not only, you know, can I develop, you know, the reports they want to see, but I've also, you know, I've been a part of this the industry for almost 10 years now. And uh, so, so I know how the industry works as well. So I think that helps um, with, with, with what we're doing and, uh, and communicating with the clients and, and, uh, and doing that. So uh, that definitely, that definitely helps with, with what we're doing there. Cool. And then just to round off that, could you let us dive into like how you're actually implementing the solutions? around sort oh, yeah, of yeah um, yeah let me let me touch on that too um with, with how how we're doing this is, is typically um a majority of the of the clients that we get um in the industry here um majority of them don't even have it on site a lot of them subcontract 
um, IT. So, so basically what we do is, is con once we get a client, is we contact their IT department. Um, and the head of my IT at my organization is the one who sets this up with, the, uh, with, with those folks. And um, basically what he does is uh, he gets everything set up. And, and typically what we'll have is a machine on site or um, their IT department will build us a virtual server that I can, that I can remote into um, to get access to their data. Um, and, right. and, and typically how that works is usually most of them have a VPN that I connect to um, and they connect uh, through an RDP to their server where their data is stored. And then I create the reports on there and then I share them you know, within the organization, but uh, they do not have access to the data models that I have built. That is a proprietary to us. So they don't have access to the actual physical Power BI model that I created but they do have access to the reports. And to expand on that is we actually have a, um, a programmer that uh, we know pretty well that build us a website. And within that website, for every new client that we get, each one of them has a log on to that website. Right. Um, and within that website, you know, you know, they have different levels of access, but in that website is where I I guess you could say embed the publish to web link for each one of those reports within that organization. Mm -hmm. um, but what happens with that, what we've been very successful with is they do not see that, that web link. The, the users don't. So when they, when they click on, you know, a certain report to access that report, it pops up a new web browser, but they do not see the uh, the web link the embedded uh, web link um, in there so this has definitely helped us out because um, before anytime somebody had left the organization if they had access to that link I'd have to deactivate that and then create a whole other link but what we found a way around that is, is is through this website so if somebody you know leaves the company for whatever reason all we have to do is just deactivate them as a user and then I don't have to go in there and, and recreate these links but uh, that's how we've uh, been successful in getting our clients access to each one of those reports. Wow, that is really cool. I'd love to just dive into that a little bit as well. Um, that's fascinating. So you're built. You're, so it's almost like you've built a data product um, where you've built some. You've built a web application. It's a sort of a secure sign-on application, and then you're just embedding the Power BI reports into your application, but you're totally bypassing this Power BI embedded um, product that, that Microsoft keep marketing, but really doesn't make any sense. You, you sort of built a, a workaround to that by just using the um, sort of the, the publish to web functionality. Yes, that's, that's, right? that's what we've done is we, we've uh, right. we definitely got around the whole Power BI embedded thing and uh, with this right here, um, it's, it's a whole lot easier for them to get access to than, than, than you know, because, you know, the data is sensitive and you don't want to ha have, uh, you know, folks access to that, especially once they've, once they've left your organization. So this is a, uh, a secure site that we've built um, to where, you know, they have access to the reporting and uh, it works pretty smooth and it, it's, uh, yeah. it's a, uh, but they, but they don't have access to that, that, that. They don't see the web link when they open up a new browser. So it's uh, yeah, that's 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 really and um, really creative. And I again, I would imagine that this is this is something that is totally um, possible in so many different scenarios as well. So many that like this is this is just one perfect example of of a of a, a brand new sort of data product and data offering that you can create with with Power BI. The other question I had was, so you've, you've, you've created sort of like a data product where, you know, a whole range of different organizations have logins and then they specifically only see their own reports. So how, how do you, you know, I presume there's a little bit of setup in the background here to make sure, like to make, you know, 100% sure that, you know, people aren't logging in and seeing someone else's uh, reports. But then also you've got you've got connections into different data sources and different locations and different servers. 
you know, how, how, how do you bring that all to, how are you bringing that all together? Like, you know, from one is the data connection side, like how are you bringing those various different data connections from all over the place together? Um, and then also how, how, how are you sort of building a secure web portal where, you know, everyone's only seeing what their reports or the reports that they should be seeing? Well, within the, um, within the, the website that we've created, um, each employee has um, part of the setup when you set up an employee is you give them access to, uh, usually I have two, two different types of, sometimes three of different uh, data sets that certain members within the organization are, you know, are privy to, to see. So we you know they can only, you know, when they log in, they only have access to this report or that report. So they don't have access to everything. So, so I, I build, you know, uh, certain reports for different levels within the organization. You know, I guess you could call it like uh, I, I, what we kind of call it is, is, is a management data set. And then we also have like a, a production, you know, who's producing the work, you know, they don't need to see all the financial information, you know, some of the things that the, the CEOs and the CFOs need to see, within these mm-hmm. companies. So mm-hmm. that's first on, on how we, um, how we structure um, the information uh, so, so that they can't, uh, the, the, uh, they're, they're not privy to all the information. It's just, it's just what the organization wants them to be able to see. And what was the second part of that question? It was, it was so you're, you're, you're connecting up to all of these different data sources. Like how, how, are, you, how are you managing that in a, in a scalable way um, so that you know the, the 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 data is somehow feeding into your app, you know, because you're you've you know, maybe you've got someone in one part of the country and someone in the other part of the country. You know, how 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 do you actually bring that all together? Yeah, within each one of those companies, um, like I mentioned before, we either have a um, a physical machine on site or we have the uh, a virtual um, a virtual uh, server that we connect to. And with each one of those, uh, within each one of those, uh, I have, I connect through the, um, through, through the gateway, through the, through, through the, um, through the power, power BI gateway. And, and that's how I set up the schedule of, of refreshes. And, you know, as we know right now, uh, we're limited to, you know, eight refreshes a day. Um, eight scheduled refreshes a day. So what I do is I put each one of these companies um, and the reports on a, on a two hour, uh, basically like a, a two hour time clock throughout the day. And if they have multiple reports, it's, it makes, it's a little bit trickier to, you know, to get the in-between times because you're only allowed to refresh, you know, on the hour or on the, on the half hour. So when you, when you, when you schedule these refreshes, but, uh, but typically, you know, that's, that's what we're providing our clients right now. A majority of them is the, is the availability to have their data refreshed up to eight times a day. Wow. That is, that is amazing. Oh, that is amazing. And um, just how you've, you know, just from start to finish, really, how you've um, recognized Power BI as an opportunity. And then you've basically created this brand new data product within your own, within your existing business that you've been able to replicate and scale, um, you know, you, you, using Power BI as the core reporting tool is, is actually, you know, that is, that is quite phenomenal. And, um, you know, I think that, that uh, for, especially for, for, the, for the listeners, is, um, opens up a world of opportunity. I hope everyone, you know, that my mind is sort of going, going at a, a million miles even now, just thinking, wow, you know, wow, this, this could be, you know, think, think of anything, think of any, any sort of unique reporting tool out there. You know, a lot of, a lot of industries, a lot of businesses have these, you know, if you could um, build a report and um, then sort of create some you know, way to productize that off the back of it, you know, there's, there's, there's enormous opportunities out there. Yeah. You know, it I, doesn't matter what that, that's the great thing about Power BI. I mean, right now we're only touching the surface of, of basically the, the industry that we know, you know, right. I mean, there, there's endless opportunities out there. I mean, we could do this for doctors, for lawyers, for uh, real estate agents. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's all about figuring, you know, like one of our number one questions we ask clients is, you know, what are you not getting, you know, from your, you know, either reporting or, or what's frustrating with what you're using right now that mm-hmm. maybe with analytics could help you, 
you know, run your business better? I mean, and, you know, we can't answer that question, you know, a majority of the time, but, you know, who better than the client to actually give you, you know, the answers that you need to help improve their business. So, yeah, the, the opportunities are, are endless. And this mm -hmm. Power BI is, you know, and it's, what, they just had, what, their fifth fifth year anniversary. So <laughs> I, I think they, they've just started to, to scratch the, the surface of, of, of where this thing is going to go. Well, I can't agree with you more there. Um, I think I think I know what we're going to call it. We're going to call the podcast this this particular episode. Um, you know, so, so something around some something around. Um, uh, you know, Im imagine the possibilities for, for for your own data products or something, um, because that that that's what I think I've got out of this conversation is sort of inspiration around you know what what is actually possible and and the opportunities are endless. So if you think about it, like how many unique pieces of software have been out there, you know, legacy systems, but even new third-party systems. I mean, there's opportunities to bring a lot of these third-party systems together in a lot of cases. And then, um, then you could do very also specialize in very unique um, pieces of analysis, like, you know, customer churn or, or forecasting analysis or HR analysis. I mean, it just, it just goes on and on and on the opportunities um, for these sort of data products and, you know, you can really effectively um, uh, develop um, like a proprietary model o across some sort of common data set. Um, I mean, look, there's, there's just no reason why you couldn't uh, create something similar to what you've done, Jared. I mean, even though it is impressive, impressive what you've, and, and you've been at it for a few years, but, you know, it, it, it definitely is not um, impossible to, to, to achieve, right? No, it's, it's not. And uh, this is uh, what, 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 I mean, we've just scratched the surface with our clients. I mean, I mean, obviously we'd have to have permission before we ever even think about doing this, but just think if we could take, you know, within those companies that I have, we have companies that, you know, that are probably 5 million a year and less, and then we have them all the way up to 40, 50 million plus a year. What if we could group those companies, you know, into a, a basket, so to speak, and then provide data. You know, here is 10 companies that meet your same, you know, financials, you know, that you, that you do. And then you could show a model of, okay, within, the, within these 10 organizations, here is the typical, you know, whatever the key metrics that we're using to help implement each one of these businesses, a lot of them are the same key metrics um, so yeah. they'd be able to see how they compare not only to the industry, but to people that are actually doing the amount of work that they're doing um, each mm -hmm. year. So it's, the, I think that's the, the next part of the, of, of the, of the, uh, of this uh, power BI journey that we, that we may touch upon, but it, it may be hard to get all those folks to be on the same page to want to share their data. And I, I totally understand that, but, I also yeah. think that they'd probably want to see how they can compare to others and how others are doing um, yeah. in the industry. Yeah, so sort of like benchmarking tools is, a, is, a, is, is, is what comes to mind when you, when you talk about that. But even, you know, I think about there's a lot of um, businesses out there which like consumer businesses, which sort of give consumer reporting, like what's, be, what's being sold at supermarkets or what's being sold at retail. I mean, if you could get access to that data, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't turn that into a data product um, and and build some sort of um, way, you know, build some sort of application, log on application, you know, um, that uh, that enables that sort of data product. I mean, it's it's quite it's really interesting, really 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 interesting. Um, I'm sure I'll be thinking about this um, for <laughs> for some days yet. Just ways that you could you you could apply it. how you could facilitate how you could facilitate these a lot easier because I think what you've done is because of your understanding of what's possible with Power BI, especially on the back end. I think that's given you a real competitive advantage to then take things further um, and say, okay, look, we can actually build an application out of this. Um, and a lot of, I don't think, um, everyone has that understanding around what is truly possible from the data connection side or the, or the, or the, or the data transformation or just, just data ac ac acquisition side of things. Um, so, you know, I think that's obviously given you personally a, a huge head start there. 
Yeah, I, I have a great team um, that I work with. Um, like I mentioned, I have the one guy that, that pretty much does the sales and the content. You know, I, I have the IT guy that, you know, behind the scenes knows how to make things work and do these, you know, interesting connections on how, how we connect to, to people's data throughout the U.S. and Canada that are thousands and thousands of miles away from us, but, but yet, you know, still provide them with, with, uh, with, with, with what they want. So uh, we definitely have a, a, a good team um, around us. So I, I think for anybody that's, that's definitely listened to the podcast, that it, uh, it's, uh, it, it's more than a one-man show. It definitely takes a team to get this, uh, to get this right. going. And uh, it, it's, I think we have a, a great team, be, not only because, um, it, but, but we all have different backgrounds, but we also, um, we, we also have our key, uh, you know, our, our key things that we're, that, that we're, that we're really great at. And, and that's where we, you know, we build upon that within each other. So right. great team, great teamwork. That's great. That's great. Well, look, I think we've covered off um, some, some pretty interesting topics, to be honest. Um, is there any, I mean, before we round things, uh, round things off, uh, is, is there any other insights that you've, that you've gathered around, you know, Power BI or just um, m- maybe even internally? internally you're deploying some of your power bi reports um you know what's been successful for you uh in getting the most out of your efforts around around your implementation oh well i think a a lot of this i mean just to i guess to turn it back a little bit here is is everything that's going on with the power bi challenges right now within enterprise dna I, I learned so much from everybody else's is model. I mean, that's, that's typically what I wait for is I wait for the, all of the files to be uploaded to the, the site there. And then I go in and, and dissect, you know, two or three of those. And I'm a very hands-on person. And, and that's where I pick up on, on, on little techniques, you know, here and there on what others are doing. So that, that's where I, I've, uh, you know, that's what's helped me because, mainly within my organization and what I do, I'm the only one who builds Power BI. So there's nobody that I, that I can talk to to, you know, to, <laughs> to quote unquote run things by, but now I have this group of uh, not only enterprise DNA, DNA experts, but I also have the enterprise DNA community um, that, uh, that is providing all these great solutions during the challenges. And uh, mm-hmm. that's definitely opened my eyes to what I have right now and, and maybe taking what I have right now and expanding that to the, to the next level. Right. No, that's great. That's great. So are you, so you're, so you're still the only developer within your organization, but you've got, you've obviously got a lot of consumers. Would that be right? A, a lot of people who consume the reports. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. Right. And so I are they, has it been easy to get them onto the online service and, um, and constantly viewing the reports? Has the, has the uptake of that been relatively seamless? It, it has been relatively, it, it's gone a lot smoother than I ever thought it would be. And, you know, we've definitely had some folks that were kind of hesitant at first to, you know, to, to try to learn, you know, in, in quote unquote, their words, you know, now I got to learn a whole other software. But once mm-hmm. they get in there and start using these um, mm-hmm. reports, they're like, wow, I don't know what I ever did without this. So yeah. as far as implementation, I don't think we've had a problem with any organization on, on you know, once they see what they've, they've seen, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't think we can take it away from them right now. You know, right. if I told them that, Hey, we're closing up shop. I mean, they would say, you know, how much more do we have to pay you in order to keep this? It, it's, yeah. it's that kind of response. And uh, it, it's not only, you know, the, the product that we build, but we also provide great customer support for them as well. But uh, yeah, I don't think we can take it away from them right now. Right, that's great. I mean, that's a great position to be in. <laughs> to, to, to be in, it means uh, 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 yeah, the, the fact that they couldn't live without. They could maybe the next step is to increase your pricing. <laughs> if they can't, li- if they can't live without it, that's a sure sign. You can probably charge more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but cool. Okay. Now that's great. Now I'm glad you also brought out the cha- brought out the challenges as well because I mean I, I honestly um, I don't think we've touched upon this. Um, maybe maybe we did a little bit in the last episode, but um, 
honestly, I, I definitely feel that's one of our best initiatives we've ever created at, at Enterprise DNA, for sure. Um, and it's really just built on built on this huge community asset that we've built built up over time. And I think it would be also a good good um, thing to mention, um, especially to the, all, all of our listeners, is that we're trying to expand the challenges. We want to we want the, the 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 Power BI challenges that we that we bring together to be much bigger than what it is today. And um, and I really feel we can do that. I think that, that there's a real appetite for that. Uh, one of the big things that we need to do, though, is we need to get corporate sponsors. We want we want some some businesses who are um, maybe trying to do like a proof of concept, for example, in Power BI, or just get uh, some addition, some more buy in around Power BI. Is why don't you come and sponsor a challenge? Uh, put a little bit of prize money up. Doesn't it, you know? It doesn't have to be a huge amount, but just uh, you know, you know uh, maybe a few thousand dollars. As, as prize money initially, I mean, this is how we're just, we're just getting going with this, but, you know, initially a few thousand dollars and then get some of the world's best experts around Power BI to submit into that particular challenge. And then obviously we can use that as prize money across a variety of different um, prizes, you know, one for the winner, maybe second place, third place, maybe even some sub, um, some sub categories as well, um, because we want to promote you know, everyone getting involved. But you know, with that, with a with a sponsorship, you're going to get some incredible solutions. And so, anyone who's listening that wants to get on the, um, you know, get in early on these um, these challenge sponsorships, I h- highly recommend it. And hopefully, Jarrett, you can um, second that that the submissions that you would get, the the quality of reports that you would get, would you know, would would blow your mind basically. Yeah, I can't agree with you more. And. Uh... Um, I, I know that I've talked with a few of the, um, a couple of the other enterprise um, DNA experts that I'm, um, um, the group that we're a part of here. And uh, I, I know in one of these upcoming challenges, um, using some of the new features in the analyst hub, I think we're, as a, as a, I think there's a group of three of us that, that want to attack one of these challenges and provide not only um, a solution, but also video and audio content as we're going through along this. So I think that, that to me, I think is where we go with this, uh, the, this next step in the, in the challenges in my view is people want to see, you know, how others are, are creating this. And, and I know we get this question a lot on the forum is, you know, you know, do you have a, a step-by-step video? And I'm just like, I wish we did, but it's just, it, it'd be, it'd be very hard to get a step-by-step video. But I think with, um, if, if we break this uh, a challenge down into you know into thirds, and then have have somebody you know tackle this and, and just sort of do um, brief audio and maybe some video content on, on on the processes or processes that we go through in order to 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 come up with our solutions, I think that's where people and uh, that's where people are going to uh, want to want to participate more. Because I think that's the hardest part right now is for somebody out there that, that sees all these awesome submissions that they're probably a little hesitant to, to, mm. to provide a solution because they know um, their solutions are probably not at the level as, as some of these other folks. But in the end, you know, we, we've all been there before. You know, we didn't all start out as, as uh, quote unquote rock stars. We, <laughs> you, have to, you have to learn, you have to practice, and uh, mm-hmm. then you continually – get better with, uh, with implementing and, and getting into Power BI and, and, and these solutions. So uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to tackling that in an upcoming um, challenge. Yeah, look, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, that, that is another big evolution for us is, is just trying to extract, you know, all of this great um, insight and experience from those participating in the challenge, making sure that, you know, we can, we can, you know, get that, you know, make, make it more available to those who are part of our community, um, you know, and, 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 and really, um, you know, make, make more, build awareness around, around the abilities of everyone in the community as well. And so that's a, that's you know a huge a huge thing that I myself personally am going to be working on. Um, you know, I'm working on it right now, <laughs> and we'll, we'll, we'll be doing so for, for for a while. Yeah, I think that's um, 
you know, that's, that's, that's really how we take, um, you know, one of the big ways that enterprise DNA moves into, you know, uh, uh, moves up to another level. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I, look, I think we round, we round off here. I mean, I think we've um, sort of been going for, for the, for the time that, um, that I wanted to. And look, I think we've talked about some really valuable things today. I mean, you know, you've really opened my, my own eyes about these data products that possibilities. And I think that everyone's going to really love hearing about the opportunities here. And, you know, we can really spur a few, a few listeners on to, you know, doing something similar themselves and, you know, in a, t- a totally different industry and, and environment. I, I think, I think we would be um, you know, really happy. So, so I want to thank you, you know, a lot for um, you know, being part of this today. And, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, and, and also, and also, you know, a big thank you for being part of our community and and, and a huge, a huge voice and in, in the expert group, etc. I think, um, you know, it's, uh, it's it's been great to 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 connect over time and and uh, and also, you know, to, to to learn a bit more about you know the specifics about what you've been doing um, recently, especially on this call. It's been great. Yep, yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure. Cool. Okay. Well, let's round it off. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Look forward to um, getting your feedback. Make sure to, um, you know, to subscribe to the podcast channel. Um, you know, going to have plenty more content coming out uh, soon and lots of really interesting conversations just like this one. So, so it's going to be really valuable stuff um, all the time. So, you know, highly, highly recommend jumping on board and, and um, you know, uh, getting getting your hands on on these episodes as we release them. So thanks thanks once again, Jarrett, and um, yeah, all the best.